Well guys, we I was here a couple days ago and I found about three beds with bass on them. Um, I'm actually gonna try and get some more underwater footage. I did do underwater footage a couple of videos ago and hopefully you guys enjoyed that. But today the water's clear and the conditions are ideal. So we're gonna see if we can get some underwater bass bed fishing footage. Should be pretty cool, stay tuned. I've officially located my first bed of the day. I threw my little trick room out there and the bass came out of nowhere and tried to eat it. I didn't let him because I wanna wait, but I know there's a bass here. That's definitely a good sign. Oh, I see a bass. Okay, there's a bass right there. That's that's the one. That's the one I was looking for, guys. Oh, yep, he went for it. Okay. I know I saw him a second ago. I don't see him anymore. Oh, he annihilated it. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. I saw him come up and slap it. Problem is there's so much wind, I can't really see too well in the water right now. So officially I've located a small one or two pounder on a bed. Um, I'm actually gonna take this guy off and put it underwater and see if I can get some really cool underwater footage for you guys. Hopefully this works out how I'm hoping it will. Um, the water is pretty dang clear, so this fish is in about two feet of water spawning. I'm used to fishing these really murky, like North Carolina ponds in six inches of water. So I'm gonna see how this goes, but we're gonna set my camera up and hopefully I can get some good footage. Stay tuned. Here it is, the moment of truth, putting the camera under the water. Here we go. There's a bass right here. I'm not sure if he's on a bed or if he's just feeding, but there's definitely a bass here. I don't know if this fish is spawning or if he's feeding or what he's doing, but I keep seeing this one bass circle around my area. I just caught my first fish of the day off of that bed on that little wacky worm. Really, really skinny spawned out male. Definitely a male, no doubt. You can definitely see he's kind of discolored and stressed from all that spawning, but we'll definitely take it. Let's go ahead and get a release on this guy. Go. Here he goes. Back on. 
I just caught the female off of that bed. Hit the little wacky worm. Not sure if the male is gonna hit, but that was pretty epic. Hopefully I got some good footage of that. I'd say about a two pounder, definitely a really solid fish. Biggest one I've ever caught out of this pond. All right, time to put her on the bed. Very important to release your bed fish. Always release your bed fish. Let's go, baby.